Inside our cells, there are tiny machines that allow our bodies to work. These machines are called molecular motors. They are basically enzyme complex that can perform mechanical work. Their ability to perform such tasks relies on a natural skill to exist in multiple stable conformations. Imagine this analogy. A girl needs to decide between two guys to date. Both are equally good looking. One has a university degree, the other owns a car, plus is in good shape. Now, it's clear that they're no longer equal. The balance tilts in favour of one guy. Molecular motors work in a similar way. They can exist in at least two states. If the surrounding conditions are adequate, they'll change from one conformation to another. As a result, mechanical work occurs. A key difference with macroscopic machines is that they're influenced by random fluctuations. To understand this, let's return to the dating analogy. This time, a guy is not sure which girl to date. The guy will date the first girl. However, he'll also date the other. Now he's dating two girls at once. Not so fair for the girls. From a statistical perspective, the amount of time he spends with one girl compared to the other is larger. These are random fluctuations. To ensure the motor will do what it's supposed to, we have to ensure the balance is tilted to the side we want it. In order to control these systems, scientists use external forces that increase the affinity of the enzyme to become a certain conformation. These forces can be electrical currents, light, chemistry and much more. If forces that control specific molecular motors are identified, our models will allow us to predict the behaviour of these molecular motors under certain conditions, as well as look for ways to improve the efficiency of work they do. Then we can construct them to tasks we want them to do. These nanomachines will play an important role in biotechnology, future mini-computers, medicine and much more.